Fire Mage, like Zico did note, and the Druid be able to run away with game number one. The first and potentially and likely last discipline free. Stratify makes his final stand in the lower bracket. He's lost in the forest of infinite restoration druids. Will he find his way out? They get good crowd control. A great start for surprise effect. Ashley tries to deflect with a kidney shot over onto Ratchet as well. Miguel is still on the back foot. Temporal shield a couple of ways from going off and healing him back into the fight. Will it go off in time? It doesn't heal him for anything. Ice block is forced and surprise effect. It brings some surprise. Yep, that's ice block. This Temporal Coral Shield, Cauterize, Trinket, basically everything from Galu. Clyde luckily still has a little bit of defense left. That was a beautiful setup very early on. Oh! In fact, Smoke Bomb gets dropped off on Galu. Do they have the damage to take him down? Malik flying in from Ratapai as he charges forward. Trinket's out of blind, wants to continue the pressure, looking for a fear onto Clyde. Galu looking to escape with his life, blinks away. Iron Bark, the last line of defense. We need to see some counter pressure from Chalky Milkman fast. Vendetta available for Ashley. They could pull the trigger on that, go for an ice block. They get a polymorph on a ratified pre-barriers the incoming crowd control. So this barrier of light is reducing damage on the rogue ratchet and likely to deny a kill. Activating that right before a crowd control. Now Ratify is open to get crowd control himself onto the enemy healer. Clyde, they pull the trigger. They're trying to go for a bursty kill on Ratchet. They counter spell, they bash up Ratify, they deny the heals, and Ratchet's in trouble as Chalky Milkman look to bounce back here in the first game battle. Cloak of Shadows at 10%. Ratify still in crowd control. Locked out for three more seconds. Ratchet are trying to stay. Alive manages to escape around the corner, but if anyone connects, he's likely to fall. Ratapai is so far away, moves back in line of sight, tries to catch a quick penance, seems to be stabilizing. Ratapai gets interrupted. No crowd control, though. Ratapai connects some heals. Still keeping up the damage. Mana even on both sides here. Gelu an exposed target for surprise effect, but they've got to kill him soon. Yeah, Gelu now into a kidney shot. Do they have the crowd control they need onto Clyde? Ratapai in a very defensive position right now. Trades out his Rapture to keep Rasher alive in this matchup. Keep him afloat and aggressive. Ratapai's been doing a great job with his mind controls to slow down these greater pyroblasts. So you let Gelu cast a greater pyroblast, and halfway through, you cast the mind control, and you can deny it. Right now, Soqueen, he actually trades out his Ice Block to deny Gelu any crowd control on Ratapai. That was nicely done, as he's not the main target in this matchup. He can afford to use his Ice Blocks as a Trinket, but now uh, very vulnerable with none left. Land no Trinket. Chalky Milkman could make a swap onto him with crowd control on Ratapai. Despite a great start, they're losing out on their opportunities to get a kill on Gelu. Ratapai locked out of the fight. It's a three on two. We do see Ratcher far away from the fight, though, predicting this attack on himself and able to avoid it while Ratapai is crowd control, but Ashley moves in. Gelu blinks forward. If they can connect together onto Ratcher, he's likely to fall. He's out of line of sight. Ratapai gets life grip back, but he was able to get a reconnect. Perfect timing on Ashley's part to stay on target and gets a, a shadow step kick off the back of it. Great initiation by Ashley. If they can lock Ratapai out for a few more seconds, doesn't look like they've got it. Counter spell, actually. Rapture not available. Ratcher's still low on health. Chalky Milkman swinging this match back in their favor. Yeah, but Gelu could be in some trouble. Icy Veins almost available in nine seconds. Ratcher, he's managed to hold on to the Vendetta. Clyde, no Iron Bark for another 25 seconds. There's definitely a window of opportunity here. Ratcher having to play defensive, and that moment of opportunity is slow, slowly but surely slipping through. Surprise effects, fingers. Polymorph on Ratapai. Kidney shot on Rasher as he trades out the feint and the evasion. Now turning their attention on to Soap Queen. Greater oh. power last lands. Death from above. Beautiful power barrier going to be dropped out by Ratapai in order to keep so clean alive, but trading out all his ice blocks, he's so vulnerable. Gelu, in the meantime, taking quite a bit of burst. Both mages could fall at any moment. Yeah, it's a race to the finish here in game number one between the Chalky Milkman and Surprise Effect. Mana is even. The cooldowns are fairly even as well. Gelu needs another 30 seconds. So Queen's not going to have that luxury, and Ratapai's really against the wall. Whoever gets crowd control first is likely to take this, and it looks like Gelo will be. No, he gets denied by Ratcher. Can they keep up the chain? Ratapai gets bashed. Gelo goes for the polymorph, gets denied on it by So Queen. Now a greater pyroblast. Who has the stop? Greater pyroblast gets psychic screened by Ratapai. Very important to interrupt that powerful blast. Gelo blinks back in line of sight to go for another greater pyroblast. Ratcher moves in. Mind control of Ratapai stops it. Garot onto Ratapai, denying premonition potentially. Gelo's not going to move in to try and get any crowd control. He wants to make sure that Ice Block is available before making a move. Good presence of mind on the part of Chalky Milkman. And here's the problem. Gelu, he now has his Ice Block, and he's well. able to <laughs> easily trade it out. That was a scary moment, but because they got his Ice Block so early on and Chalky Milkman were able to hold on, Gelu got his Ice Block back. So he doesn't have the same luxury. Still a minute and a half before his is available. Cheap shot on Ratapai. Road on Ratcher. Gelu looking for a greater power blast. Doesn't look like he's able to find it. Ratapai once again with the leap of faith. Grips Ratcher to line of sight. 
out of line of sight to safety, but Rasher has to charge in. They need to try to find some pressure. Clyde is using Innervate right now, topping his team off completely, but now that he's out of mana, Ashley could be in a little bit of trouble. Clyde moving in, Rasher also under fire. He gets low, Ratapai absolutely tapped. He has no mana to keep Rasher alive. This is one of the problems with the discipline. Oak bomb. You have a lot of offense, but now completely tapped. Ratcher's in trouble. He trades up close. Gladiator safeguard. Maybe he can hold on. There's a potential opening here onto Ashley. Yeah, they reverse the pressure, forcing two defensive cooldowns on the side of Chalky Milkman. Vendettas are available for both rogues. The next attack is likely to close game number one out as both healers are tapped on not only mana, but as well on cooldowns. Ratapai gets locked down first. Chalky Milkman pull the trigger. Likely to kill Ratcher. Who is there to save him? Ratapai trinkets, drops the power word barrier, premonitions the follow-up, and now looks to reverse the pressure as it's a race to the finish with 10% health oh, remaining. Yeah. Is Ashley going to be the one to fall? Ratcher defiantly, defiantly holding on, but Clyde stabilizes Ashley. Ratcher isn't going back up in health, and Ratapai's got very little to work with. Managing to hold on. Blind now. Clyde Trinkets. Can they get a polymorph on that trinket and try and punish? Doesn't look like they can. They go for an Evan Bolt. Big flurry combo. Iron Bark denies the kill there. Ratcher is far more isolated. Both rogues in danger as Ratcher retreats away. And Ashley might just get taken out. He does. Surprise effect have done it. Ratapai the last. Wait, maybe not completely out of the woods here as Gello gets a full polymorph. Ratcher. You're gonna stay alive. Ratapai still locked out of the fight, but they can't connect any damage. Ratcher stays alive and Disciplined Priest gets a win. 100% win rate, at least on broadcast. <laughs> the lone rat in the wilderness going to Chalky Milkman, going to have more flexibility in their rogue mage based off their healer and the fact that Gelu can play just about every single mage spec. But we already saw Ooh. Ratapai and Surprise Effect manage to take one. Will they be able to find a quick win here? Ratapai gets Gelu in combat so they can deny the early sap attempt and Gelu tries to get a great power blast but Ratcher actually gets caught in center field in a sap. Are they going to set up off the back of this? They are. Good initiation by the Chalky Milkman. This is a great start for them. Paint suppression activated right before that Ring of Frost is denying a lot of incoming pressure onto Ratcher by Ratapai. Time to stabilize. Blind gets trinketed. Now counter pressure on Gelu as Ratcher tries to lead the charge here. Frozen Orb placed as well. That's boosting the damage quite heavily of the entire team. Surprise effect. Gelu under fire. Blinking out. Try and avoid Ratcher, but he's still in midfield. So Queen can free cast Clyde in a position to stabilize throughout this initial exchange no significant uh, cooldowns forced on the side of the chalky milkmen now Gello open to cast some greater pyroblast getting one cooking up a second yep. is he gonna be able to find it rapture forced to line of sight and all that damage did get denied by Ratapai and his rapture cooldown which does empower his power word shield so he's able to throw out the power word shield and deny a lot of that greater power blast damage but definitely gelu's going to be a huge threat if they just allow him to cast out those massive spells clyde pushing in now looking for crowd control rasher into a kidney shot they're looking to reverse the pressure onto ashley clyde trinkets out of the blind is there anything else doesn't look like this follow-up crowd control gelu in the meantime getting cc onto ratapai and rapture forced to run away and play defensive mm -hmm. although ashley's is the one that's low can so queen sort of carry the pressure right now and keep Ashley low really is the question. Cheap shot to set up the team of surprise effect. They get the chain to three on two. Ashley makes the trade. Let's see if Rasher can get maybe a shadow step kidney shot on that evasion. Unable to as Ashley vanishes into the shadows, invisible to the opposing team and buying a couple seconds to mount up and then re-stealth potentially. Shadow step into the water. Ellie to escape to safety and interrupt the mind control. Good evasive maneuvers. That sets up Clyde to get a cyclone, but there's no damage just yet. Greater Pyroblast not able to connect. Ashley now on the back foot. No follow-up, unfortunately, on to Clyde at the back end of that. Maybe they don't need it with that added Discipline Freeze damage. Ashley is taking a huge hit. Now getting mind-controlled into the enemy team. Getting polymorphed by Gelu to stop him from getting mind-controlled into enemy territory. Gelu now blinking in to get triple crowd control. Gelu on fire. Yeah, Gelu excellently done, but Ratcher was able to deny that with a nice well-timed interrupt with that kick. Ratapai out, now into a ring of frost. Ratcher all alone. He has the Cloak of Shadows as well as the Evasion. Manages to land the Kidney Shot onto Ashley. Ashley should be fine. Greater Power Blast lands from Gelu. Ratcher still in a lot of trouble. Ratapai is going to have to play catch up in this situation. Vendetta committed by both rogues as they're looking to get aggressive. Gelu looking for a greater power blast. Got and one! Manages to land it onto Ratcher, but he's going to be able to survive. Really insignificant damage. I'm not exactly sure what the damage reduction was. Oh, Smoke Bomb gets dropped. Huge hit for the Chalky Milkman. Ratapai gets cheap shot on his trinket, and Ratchet is likely to fall, and he does. Chalky Milkman strike back in game number two, tying this up one to one.
Pew! They're going to be able to get the quick win this time. Surprise effect. Right now, all tied up. This one promises to be outstanding. Yeah, and we know Ratapai likes to play very aggressive, so I think on hook point, it's going to be much easier for him to push in, land those psychic horrors onto Clyde if he can get in position. Chalky Milkman's going to have to do a good job denying, or a surprise effect is going to get that additional crowd control they really need. So Queen double blinking in to get crowd control and completely gets shut down by Gelu. Gelu on point here in this series and likely to carry the team to victory, getting a greater Pyroblast onto Ratchet, bursting him down quite heavily. Blind to pull the trinket of Ratapai. Both healers using their Gladiator's medallions on blind. A likely exchange, but now makes them open to crowd control moving forward for likely the rest of the fight. Ratcher still under so much fire. No cooldowns have been committed, and Ratcher is struggling just to stay alive. Yeah, a lot of damage coming in from Ashley and Gelu. Gelu looking for a greater power blast once again. Not opting to commit a shimmer charge in order to push in and actually finish that cast off. Now looking for crowd control, manages to secure it. Ratapai with a beautiful pain suppression will keep Ratcher alive for a little bit longer. And I think Ratcher, he's actually gone Dark Iron Dwarf in order to survive a little bit better in this series. Not opting to play the human racials anymore. Now Gelu under pressure and it looks like surprise effect. They realize they have to go on Gelu. They have to pressure him or greater power blast is just going to ultimately be too much for them to handle. Even still, Ratcher on the back foot. Both teams in trouble at this point. Point and neither is really committing their offense. Gelu has to ice block. Fair exchange though for Vendetta and Icy Veins having already been committed. But now he needs to try and get aggressive with no ice block to fall back on. They've got the initiation. Everybody locked down. They need two more seconds. Dire safeguard. No, the triple DR bash oh. from Clyde closes the game out here on game three. And now Chalky Milkman advanced to match points. Oh. I think Ratapai just did a great job in game one of predicting crowd control and trading cooldowns ahead of the damage. Whereas in these last two games, they're getting caught off guard without making a trade right before it happens. They have to make a split second decision, go all out, especially when they're playing with that disciplined priest. So we see Gelo in the starter pipe trying to get a greater power blast when no one can connect <laughs> to him and then getting punt slow fall to the opposite side of the map. A bit of a cheeky start for Gelo. Yeah, definitely. Rapture. Let's see what he does. Still sitting in stealth. Who's going to be the target of choice as it looks like? The healers and the mages just exchanging blows early on. Ratapai finds a mind control, bringing Gelu to an unideal position. Gelu with a nice dragon's breath denies that opener. Beautifully done. Gelu's been really impressing me in these matchups. Yeah, he's been on the ball. Good teamwork with Clyde here to get a Cyclone. Ratcher now getting bursted in a stun lock combo, looking for 100 0. They're on match point. They can't afford to throw. Ratapai keeps them alive just a little bit longer now to counter aggress, leading the charge towards Gelu. Three members attacking Gelu. Clyde Tranquility's around the corner with that iron bark stabilizing Gelu. Good positioning. Mind control onto the greater Pyro Blast. Blinks out a line of sight to deny it on this one, but gets counterspelled by So Queen. Gelu Ooh. now instead looking for a ring of frost. Snags that around the corner. Great positioning on Gelu's part. Rasher in trouble. Yeah, So Queen managed to sneak in a polymorph onto Clyde. Now Gelu could be in a little trouble. Rasher's falling lower. Secures the full polymorph. Ratapai gets interrupted. He needs to find healing. Gelu getting low. Can they take him down? Needs to be careful in these moments. Uh, definitely with the Temporal Shield alive, he might be able to survive. He still has a Cauterize to fall back on as well. Ratapai pushes in, manages to land the double fear. Gelu all by himself. He's just going to be trading out a greater Pyro Blast. Oh. Gets mind controlled on it. Ice Block is forced out. Gelu stabilizes. Nice heals from Clyde, but that was a nice setup from Surprise Effect. Surprise Effect stay in this series. They're trying to battle it back and bring this to a game number five. Ratcher once again against the wall, pre-Cloak of Shadows. This is where he needs to preemptively use cooldowns while his healer is crowd control. Now using evasion, predicting an incoming stun rather than waiting until after it happens and dying in it. These are the risks that Ratcher has to take, but even still just taking tons of damage, trying to counter aggress the powered barrier, hitting Ratcher in these potential final seconds as Ratapai desperately tries to connect one heal, gets interrupted on the Shadow Men, goes for a penance, Chains that into Rapture, grips the smoke bomb, Ooh. connects a couple of powered shields, but those are getting stripped away. Rapture under fire, actually pushing forward to find a kill. 17 seconds away from that vendetta, and likely that vendetta will secure the kill. Gelo caught in a smoke bomb. It's do or die for surprise effect. Do they have enough damage to take down Gelo in this attack? It doesn't appear to be the case, and if they can't, Ashley's Vendetta now ready and available, and there's really nothing left for Ratcher to stay alive so long as Ashley just pulls the trigger on it. They're just going to go. Gelu blinks in. Ratapai line of sights to blink in on the Dragon's Breath, but even with no crowd control, damage alone may be enough to put Ratcher down, activating that Fire Blood, taking off all the damage over time effects, trying to buy Ratapai a couple more seconds, shadow stepping in, but Clyde gets the clone, and this is match point as Chalky Milk look to close. Ratcher, how much longer can he take this? Garotsan 
bounce now off the back of the Cyclone. Blink in potentially on the Polymorph gets shut down, but it doesn't matter. Dragon's Breath is more than enough for the Chalky Milkmen advance. And we are not going to see a Disciplined Priest able Feed versus the fake zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.